hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here welcome to my youtube channel talking mental with rb where i talk on all things mental health related my name is Rashida Tbalogo and this week i am going to be reviewing for maria Ebun pataki a movie that creates awareness on postpartum depression She bled so much on the table. It was the only way to save her life. For Maria Ebumpataki is a feature-length movie directed by Damilola Orimogunje and was written by Tunre Femi and Damilola Orimogunje. It was released in 2020 and it stars Meg Otanwa, Gabriel Afalayo, Tina Mba and Judith Audu amongst others. For Maria Ebumpataki, highlights a mother's experience of postpartum depression after a complicated delivery. A first-time mom, Derry, exhibits symptoms of postpartum depression. She finds herself unable to share the joy and felicity that comes to most mothers after childbirth. Maria. Maria. So first of all, I would say that this movie is so original it's so unpredictable you have no idea what is going to happen next i love the fact that they made everything so realistic it wasn't just we are just telling a story about postpartum and so we can do or say anything we want to say everything that took place in the movie is something that can happen in real life it showed how mental disorders not only affect the individual but also the immediate people around the person and so the mental problem isn't just restricted to the mother that is suffering from the postpartum depression. Her baby suffers, her husband suffers, her family suffers, everything suffers. The cinematography of the movie was beautiful. Um, I love the way they graded the movie. It, um, it kind of went with the mood of the movie and talking about mood and tone of the movie it was so touching so emotional to watch you could practically feel how Danny was breaking down how helpless she was the actress who played the role of Danny Meg Otanwa it she was so exceptional she really wore the shoes of a mother with postpartum depression. She played the role expertly, like she brought the character to life. Her body language was spot on, her dialogues, her facial expression, everything could tell that yes, this woman was actually going through postpartum depression. The actress who also played her mother-in-law, Tina Mba. Her performance was also beautiful. She played the character of a typical African woman who finds it hard to accept that things like this are real. And at the same time, they also want to be supportive. They also want to be there, but they don't understand what is happening. They are like, is this not getting too much? Is this actually real? Are you not acting out? That type of thing. And at the same time, they also want to comfort you. One thing I would like to mention is that in the movie, the problem was identified. It was mentioned that this is postpartum depression, but there wasn't a solution. Some people might have issues with that because, okay, they would want the film to actually resolve the crisis. But then, for me, it's okay because... It's not their job to tell you how postpartum depression should be cured. See your psychologist for that, for professional help. Overall, I feel for Maria Ebumpataki calls for people to see how postpartum depression can actually affect a mother and how it can be easily misunderstood as something else and also how dangerous it can get when left untreated when you don't seek treatment when you don't pay attention to those warning signs it can get really really dangerous
on a final note for maria ebon pataki is a beautiful movie that focuses on postpartum depression and i hope this movie ends up changing lives and i hope this movie sparks that conversation that we have been shying away from that conversation that we really need to have that conversation that would eradicate the stigma surrounding postpartum depression That's it on today's episode of Talking Mental with RB. For Maria Ebon Pataki is currently streaming on Netflix. I hope this episode was very entertaining and informative. You can also click on the link in the description box for more information on postpartum disorder. Please do not forget to share this video to help spread mental health awareness. Please like this video, drop your questions and opinions in the comment section below. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and bye.